Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on this YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how I edit my thumbnails for this YouTube channel. I've actually been getting a lot of people recently asking me how I edit my thumbnails, so I figured why not make a video, teach you guys, and show you my ways. The first step is to literally embarrass yourself for five minutes in front of the camera. A few months ago I actually used to take my thumbnails as pictures, but I realized Eh, I can just do a video, it's easier, I don't, it's less work, so that's why I do it in video. With pictures, I have to take a new picture per face that I do, whereas in video, I can just put me in focus and I can do whatever the flip I want. Shit that actually saves me a ton of time, I can just drag my video file into my Premiere Pro document and just screenshot the thumbnail that I want from that video file. It saves me a ton of time, so I don't have to open up the raw files from the pictures. It's great. So now that you have your video file in your Premiere Pro document, make sure to put your normal color grade on that file, and then I just screenshot whatever thumbnail I want to use for the video. I will normally screenshot a few different poses and then see which one looks better in Photoshop. And that segues really nicely into the Photoshop segment of this tutorial. Photoshop, let's go. So now that I've screenshotted all those files, I drag those into Adobe Photoshop. I make sure to have all my thumbnails have a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. And then to editing. Make sure to drag your potential thumbnails into Adobe Photoshop. What I then do is mask myself out in the Photoshop document and then add a stroke layer and a glow layer. I set my stroke to be white and have a size of 16. And then I set my outer glow to be a light teal blue and also just turn down the opacity a little bit. You just play around for your liking. After that, I go to my background layer and add a radio blur with a size of 10. And then you're honestly pretty much done with the Photoshop portion of this tutorial. Sometimes I will add another layer, like depending on what I'm talking about, if I'm talking about Twitch, I'll have like a Twitch background layer and just add a radio blur to that too, just to make everything more precise and make the thumbnails more like the videos. And then of course I turn down the opacity just a tad just so I can see my background layer and make everything less harsh. And then the last thing I like to do is just the brightness and contrast, the curves and the saturation. And then you're done, just make sure to export that as a JPEG image and then upload it to YouTube. Finding your thumbnail style is a really hard thing to do. I've actually personally been through a ton of different thumbnail styles in the past. And you're gonna have to evolve over time as well. You don't just wake up one day and think of a thumbnail, like it just evolves you with your channel. So what I would just recommend is try a bunch of different thumbnails and see which ones work for you. I did not make this video so that now everyone is creating thumbnails just like mine. I made this video so that you can get some inspiration about some of the stuff that I do differently compared to you. So sure guys, that is all I have to say for you guys today. It is just so important to create thumbnails, especially for your personal branding, because you know, if you just make the same thumbnails as everybody else, no one's gonna be able to differentiate you from the rest of the crowd. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned something along the way, make sure to leave a like, and also let me know in the comments below what your thumbnail style is right now, and if you enjoyed my thumbnail style. If you guys are new, make sure to smash the subscribe button. I know it goes into I upload videos so many times a week. We actually upload four times a week if you guys were curious. And if you guys have not already, make sure to push the notification bell. You totally, totally should. There is no reason not to, and uh, it's, uh, it's spanking awesome. So make sure to push that bell. Greatly appreciate it. Peace, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.